Hello, everybody. Welcome to Katie, Katie Texas. Texas. And I am Katie. Katie is going to take us through Katie. Yeah. Now, let me be clear. At no point in this video are we actually going to be within Katie city limits. We are in the surrounding area. These are Katie addresses, but they're not like actual city limits. So, just so you understand that at no point in this video, we're actually going to be within Katie. But we are in places that have Katie addresses because it's a vast suburban area. So just understand we're driving kind of like in a circle. We're going to start on the south side of Katy and drive towards the east of Katy in a circle around the city. At no point are we actually going to be within Katy. It's a suburban area and we're going to be driving through it. It's a desirable suburb of Houston that people like and people want to live in. Mm -hmm. It's a good place. So this area is much more affordable than a lot of other places, uh, like let's say Florida. Texas is known for jobs. Now, Texas jobs are almost solely dependent on oil, which I've, I don't like sole dependency on one thing. Just like Florida is solely dependent on tourism, Texas is solely dependent on oil. The dependency on one single thing is horrendous for an economy. Right now, Texas may be riding a wave, but oil is also vulnerable to the politics of the day. And um, sometimes people want oil and other times they don't want oil. And that is not really good for Texas. So while there are a lot of jobs here in Texas related to oil, and it is a huge part of the economy here, I don't personally think that dependency on a particular single thing is good for any economy. An economy that's more diversified is definitely better. You can see there's a Whole Foods here to the right. There's a Carabas, uh, which has had Starbucks, so you can have all that within your grass, ATT. Every store you would want, suburban, this area has it all for suburban living. Affordability uh, for, uh, for a suburban area. Easy access to a large city of Houston. You're two and a half hours from San Antonio. You're three hours from the beautiful beaches of Corpus Christi. You're an hour from Galveston, less than an hour from Galveston, Gal about an hour from Galveston. Galveston's not much, I'll be honest. It's a place to go and, and be sad, looking at gray skies and gray waves, and hopefully you'll be able to breathe with the chemicals that are in the air. It's not really a real beach town. Galveston is not a real beach town. It's a nice place to go. It's our destination, but it's not like you're going to like you know, Miami or something. It's not like that type of beach town. So I, I think if you need to see a real beach, you can right, get down to uh, Corpus Christi. But when we lived in Alabama, we went three hours to Panama City Beach so it's, and, and came back in the same day. So you can definitely do a beach day trip. Um, but uh, yeah, so good affordability. People have asked me, do I like the Houston area? Yeah, I have come to like the Houston area a lot. Um, I'm not sure what the crap my windshield's so dirty. I have to find a gas station to try to clean it up. It's been kind of a problem. Oh, we got over, so we got, oh, we got gray, uh, when we got gray skies, we get more, uh, more reflection on the dash, so sorry about that. I mean, I'm at the point where I even plan my trips to where we're network, like, you know, we're never, like, in the afternoons, we're never facing, almost never facing west, in the mornings, we're never facing east. I'm, I'm getting to the point where, like, when I record, I try not to do that. This is Cinco Ranch, which is, like, another suburban area here. So, like I said, we're going to go through several suburban areas. I'm going to label it Katy because that's the biggest thing around here. If you're from Texas and you want to argue with me about that, welcome on board. That's what we do here. Overall, I do like it, and it is affordable. It's an affordable area um, where normal people can still try to make it, if that's a thing anymore. Katie, what are your thoughts? I like it here. And I've mentioned that out of all the places we go to, and we've been through 20, 28 states so far, 28 states in the last year we've been to, Texas is the only other state outside of Florida that I would consider moving to. Maybe, maybe.
maybe Tennessee. I never say maybe. I mean like a remote maybe Tennessee and a remote maybe North Carolina. And I'm not, these aren't like sure. These are like if I had to. You know, uh, Georgia would also be uh, maybe. But Texas by far seems better. Um, people here are really proud of their economy based around oil. Um, but as an outsider, I'm just like, you know that's all right. Um, that's, that's, that says Katie whatever. Katie Violin. So we're not technically in Katie, but even the businesses are called Katie. And you have a Katie address. So for the, for the sake of this video, we're in Katie. If you have a problem with that, oh well. The subdivision says here, Kellywood. You know how the suburbs are. You get all types of names and crap. Keep crime rates down. Just be a city of five feet developments or whatever. You know how the suburbs are. That's a big house. That's a big house. That's a big house. They're big houses. Super dirty. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's on the inside or the outside. It's just. I think filthy. it's a mix. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kind of thing. Victor Perez is going for government. School board. Oh, school board. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! Victor Perez. Victor Perez wants to go for the school board. I don't blame him. Blame Victor Perez for his aspirations of power to be in charge of the school board. Of this will be my school, and these will all be my children, and I will tax you all for higher salaries. This is like the most embarrassingly dirty one you've ever had. I can't believe we didn't think about wash. But yeah, this car, the whole car needs a car wash. Yeah. We'll just take it to a car wash. I could. I think we're on North Fry Road. And this kind of goes all through the suburban crap. big houses. Houston's got good weather, um, good culture, lots of things to do. It's a huge city, very spread out. It's a nice, interesting uh, urban landscape. You got some people playing golf out here. You think it's a little bougie though, even in the suburbs? Bougie means like it's suburban, but it's like people who are from the ghetto that ended up in the suburbs. No. I think so. Yeah. I would say it is. Cinco Ranch. Big nice suburban houses. It's a little bougie. Here's a gas station. I'm sure we can. Oh, we need gas either way. We need gas and a clean one Huh. Yeah. And probably a car wash. It's going to be a gas station that has all three. Hmm. We need to buy like glass pipes. I thought we bought them a while back. <coughs> Lake Forest, also gated. Seems 
looks like a little junk room, a little business like we have back in Florida with the gray out here. Mm-hmm. So remember places like this are great for that type of business. And I think I just got to focus on my YouTube. I got to stop going back to that. I like doing it. It's just, it's not where I need to be in my life right now. When we get to Brownsville, they have like real palm trees there. I don't know. Hmm. Nice looking suburban area. Yeah, lots of trees and shade. That's always great. Especially in Texas, you don't see that a lot. Yeah. It's just kind of barren like, in a lot of places. Oh, that's a huge house. Did you see it? Did you see the size of these houses on Stone Lodge? That's a big house on Stone Lodge right there. Man, that's the biggest house I ever seen right there. That's a big house. And that's an electric vehicler. Would you buy an electric vehicler? I will. If you say yes, I will, of course. We're not living inside of an electric vehicle. I don't plan to live in it. Huh? I don't plan to live in my car. Okay, if you think we're going to live in an electric vehicle, I want a divorce. I'm not living inside an electric vehicle. I'm living in a house. I'm not living inside of an electric vehicle. It's not going to happen. We don't have to live in one. This windshield is dirty. Dirty, dirty windshield. Inside and out. And this new suction cup we have now has that like fiber, weird material. <laughs> to where like you're almost forced. It's like sticky. Sticky, sticky, icky. Mm -hmm. Oh well. I don't know what I can do about it by complaining. Mm -hmm. Your suburban life has been delivered to you. Yes. Oh, he's got snowflakes on. Got snowflakes on it. Dirtiest one shot ever. Bro, unacceptable. I think we just did another day in Texas, in Houston, which we should get out here. It's like our third day here. I think we really got to get out of here today. Yeah. Do I want to stay more? Yeah, yes. Yeah, but we got to go. We have to go. We gotta go. Do Shine, GPS Chinatown? What was GPS Chinatown? I knew we had to go. This windshield is like, what the crap? It's like the worst we've ever had it on any video. I hate it. It's not right. It's not professional. We're supposed to be professional poop poopers. And we're not being professional with this dirty windshield. We're supposed to be professional you poopers. Let me get out of here. I'm lost already. It all looks the same to me. Great. The map doesn't want to work. Yeah, we're lost. Mm -hmm. We're lost in a suburban sprawl. Mm -hmm. I want to go on I-10. Mm -hmm. And then from I-10, I want to go... Um, see here. We're going to go to Chinatown and there, there there's some hoods and then we're out. We really can't prolong this Houston to stay. We've been here longer than I ever thought we would. Mm -hmm. It's really like overkill at this point. Mm -hmm. So I shaved my arms and the hairs are growing back mm -hmm. but they're not growing they used to be black now they're growing back like orange. I have orange hairs growing back. Look at that. They're like golden orange 
like ginger billy. I look like ginger billy. Ow. What the crap is going on with my windshield? It is so dirty. Do you know that? My windshield's dirtier than the dirty south. Stone locust. We're in the community of stone locust. Apparently there was a locust and it got stoned. This looks like Georgia. Georgia looking neighborhood. A few words from Katie today. Can you mad me about something? No. You're like quiet, bro. I'm sorry, whatever I said. It's always something I said. Oh, yeah, you were horrible. Yeah. You're, it was absolutely terrible, Jose. What did I say? Oh, it was so bad. I can't even repeat it. I'm done trying at this point with you. Like, you always mad about something different. Sometimes it's my fault, sometimes it's not. Sure. Yeah. You say that now. You know I got the memory of a goldfish. If I say something stupid, I'm not gonna remember. Oh, I know, but I can still hold it. What's over this you? place to wear here? Car wash? Yeah. Definitely need it. This thing is filthy. You didn't say anything, but you thought you did, so I just made it seem like you did. I was just being quiet to be quiet. I do oil change and car wash in one. That's like the suburban dream right there. Man. What the crap is up with all these electric peoplers? Ah, a tractor and an electric vehicle on one street. Wow, uh, I like Texas. Oh my gosh, there's like a caravan up. That's right, a caravan of tractors. Where else there are you There is gonna... like five tractors. Te Houston, Texas is the only place where you'll see an electric vehicle and a tractor in the same neighborhood. Uh-huh. Ridge may be icy. So it actually ices up in here, like it gets cold. Occasionally, up. but we want a little bit more cold. So, I, I will be honest, but this thing is filthy. I don't think they're even gonna touch this car when they see it. They're gonna be like, "Where the crap were you?" A desert storm? I'm like, "Yeah, like quite literally." So this is a car, car wash, wash entrance. Okay. So do you wash it yourself or do they wash it? Do they have a place to do it for you? Mm -hmm. I'm not doing crap. Do they do it for you? I'm not I doing it. I think so. Do they do it or? Yeah, they got employees, right? Yeah, there's. I ain't doing crap. Do they have employees to do it for you? Yeah, bug shields, not responsive for power intensive bug shields, they better advisors, have employees running boards. I ain't doing nothing, right? Pluton spoils any factory installed items, non factory okay, installed let's, let's talk to them. That side, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I ain't, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't, I ain't doing nothing. My okay. car is filthy, bro. This car looks like somebody's been living in it. 